Good morning. Good morning. So I have with me today a few things. What do I have here? Mm -hmm. A rock and paper. A rock, paper, and scissors. Does that remind anybody of anything? What does that remind you of? Have you ever played a game called Rock, Scissors, and Papers? Yeah. Do you know how to play it? We're going to play it right now. So with our hands, we're going to either make a rock, a scissors, or a paper. And if, so the rock beats the scissors, but the scissors beat the paper, because they can cut the paper. And the paper covers the rock, so paper beats rock. So we're going to play a couple of things. So on the count of three, we're going to say rock, paper, scissors, go. And you're going to put out either your rock, your paper, or your scissors, OK? <coughs> Ready? All three of us together. Ready? <coughs> rock, paper, scissors, go. Oh, she was, she, she beat us both because she had a rock and we both had scissors. OK, let's go again. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, go. Oh, we both beat her because we had paper and she had a rock. Okay, one more time. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Oh, you win. Because we both have rock and you have paper. Okay, so it's a fun game. But if I wanted to write a letter, these scissors wouldn't be very helpful. And this rock probably wouldn't be very helpful. But this piece of paper probably would work really good for that, right? What if you had a big string hanging off of your shirt and you had to get it off, what would be the best thing to use for that? Scissors. The scissors. What if you were thirsty? Would one of these things help you if you were thirsty? You don't think so? What if I told you that this rock could help if you were thirsty? <laughs> That sounds crazy. You guys think I'm crazy. <laughs> Good morning. I'm so glad you can join us. Do you think it sounds crazy that this rock could help us if we were thirsty? You don't think it sounds crazy? Well, maybe you've already heard our Bible story for today then. <laughs> so today we learn in the Bible that when Moses and the Israelites were traveling in the wilderness, Everybody got really thirsty because they were in the desert. They were in the wilderness and there was nothing to drink. And they were really, really thirsty. And they started to complain and get really cranky. Have you ever been really thirsty? Does it make you cranky when you're thirsty? You get kind of upset. Well, they were really cranky. There were a whole lot of them and they were all thirsty. So they were a pretty cranky bunch of people. And Moses said, well, just hang on, guys. Hang on. Let's ask God about this. And Moses asked God, and you know what God did? He said, Moses, if you take your staff, he had, he had like a big walking stick. He said, you take that, and you hit this rock with it, water will flow out of that rock for everyone to drink. Wow. Do you think Moses might have thought that sounded crazy? <clears throat> You know what? He didn't think it sounded crazy because he believed in God. And he believed that what God said was true. And so he took his walking stick, his big staff, and he hit that rock, and the water came flowing out. And everybody was so amazed. And not only were they amazed, but guess what? They weren't thirsty anymore, which means they weren't so cranky either. And they really understood how awesome God is. So... When we get in a situation in our lives that feels impossible, sometimes we have situations that are hard and they feel impossible. You know what that word means? Impossible means like that it could never happen. This could never be fixed. Just like those Israelites thought, we're never going to find water. That's impossible. But God made it possible. So we can remember that when we're going through tough stuff, and we think that there's no answer, that God 
can make all kinds of things possible, just like he did with Moses. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's bow our heads and let's pray and let's thank God for that. <clears throat> Dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank, thank you. For helping us. For helping us. Remember Moses. Remember when Moses. When we feel. When we feel. Like life is impossible. Like life is impossible. Thank you. Thank you. That you can make the impossible. That you can make the impossible.